going along that Kokoda trek uh, reminded me of the, the big things in life and um, just what a privilege it is to uh, be able to live in a country that's free um, for what the guys did back there in the war. So. It's one thing to, 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 to do a fundraise and raise some money, but it's another thing to actually go and experience uh, something like this uh, and, and actually be there and, and go through it and, and see the mateship and, and, um, and uh, you know, uh, something that you experience together more than just a, a, a fundraiser. Australia's built on mateship and, and that is personified by a place like this, by this, by this campaign. Uh, and mates in construction is all about mateship, about looking after each other. But you know that in the end you're going to get through it. It's just step by step and day by day and you have, you just keep going and to look back and think it's still surreal, thinking it's happened to somebody else. Going to Kokoda itself and all those different areas where the diggers fought and their blood was shed and where they fell dying was really it touched me very very deeply with the support I had with the leadership I had not a problem I did it it was hard challenged me beyond who I was but it, I got there and there's no one I don't think who wouldn't be able to go there if they put the effort in with the support that they have from the other people to have been able to do that physical activity as well as the emotional understanding of what Kokoda is actually about um, with a group of people that are now lifelong friends um, still brings uh, welled up thoughts and tears to, to, my, uh, to my mind. It was um, an incredible time and um, one that I will never ever ever forget. The mateship that I got with my fellow trekkers, the leadership that I saw from Aurora, it's all helping and it really overlays exactly what we're doing in Mates and Construction. We're going out there very quietly doing the work and we are making a difference in the construction industry. And we are here on, on one, one mission, uh, we have one target in mind, it's suicide prevention, it's, um, it's for us to, to achieve um, this great trek that, that um, not many have achieved um, and don't get the opportunity to do it. So I'm just really glad I am here with this great bunch of people and, and, and uh, getting to know all of them one by one as, as we get along. The workers and their families actually know the work we're doing and are coming to us. Now the employers are starting to see this. The unions are, have always been behind us and I think this is going to work. I would 100% recommend and I've said to people come back if you're going to do if you want to tick it off your bucket list and do the Kokoda Trek for whatever, I would 100% recommend it doing it through, through mates. Um, yeah, because their whole belief behind it, their whole reason for doing it in the first place and for getting the groups together is just, yeah, it's amazing. So thinking about mates in construction and what they're all about, you know, asking your mate are you doing okay, being there to support your mate. Um, it, it parallels with what this, what Kokoda is all about, uh, mateship, courage, um, endurance. Um, th these are traits that were part of the original Kokoda and, and that, that's really what mates in construction about is about, you know, looking out for your mates, making sure that they get home safe to their families. Um, so the, the marriage between Kokoda and mates in construction is um, perfect. On the end.